Hello, my name is Lois Neal and I'm the Learning Manager for the Hairdressing Department here at HSDC. I'm going to go through a few of the reasons why you might want to study hairdressing with us. So our first reason that you may wish to come and study with us is that we have industry experts and um, really qualified staff that are going to be teaching you on your hairdressing course. A lot of our staff are still practicing in industry, which means that you'll be taught by staff that are up to date on the current trends, styles and techniques. Another reason you might want to join us here at HSDC Hairdressing Department is the many competitions that we encourage students to get involved with. So you might want to participate in our in-house hair show competition where you get to uh, showcase your skills and your talents at the end of the year to friends and family um, and have the opportunity to win best in class or a student of the year. We also encourage our students to participate in World Skills, a competition you might have heard of. It's an internationally recognised competition where students showcase their skills um, and technical expertise in many different industries. So you'll compete with like-minded individuals and have a chance to represent the UK in the international heats. We also have many guest speakers coming from industry um, from different salons locally and also further afield. So guest speakers will come in and talk to you about the types of skills and qualities they want to see when employing young stylists. So you really have a step ahead in the employment um, and in the sector that you wish to go to. We um, also have guest speakers coming in and they'll give masterclasses on things such as new colouring techniques, styling, hair extensions, to name but a few. So you're always going to be up to date and on trend. We've also got industry standard facilities here at HSDC. So we run a full salon with paying clients so you can demonstrate and practice your skills and also develop your confidence in a really supportive environment with the staff right by, right by your side um, whilst working in a professional atmosphere such as our salon with paying clients as I've said. Um, finally, we have recently introduced new qualifications in the hairdressing department. So we have hairdressing qualifications that include both ladies and men's uh, cutting and styling and colouring units. So that means that you are more employable, you have uh, more skills and also the barbering industry is really booming at the moment. You'll maybe see a lot of barbers on your high streets in your local area so again more opportunities for you um, and then you can specialize as well and maybe one of our part-time barbering courses if you wish or you may wish to progress onto our higher level three hairdressing courses um, hopefully that's a few reasons why you might want to come and study hairdressing with us we really hope that you book an early interview and you can do that through our website we look forward to meeting you bye Level 2 Barbering. On the Level 2 Barbering course you need four GCSEs, four and above, one in science, preferably maths or English, and then one other. If you don't pass your maths and English you will need to take that when you're at college. The units you will be covering, you'll be covering men's cutting, you'll be covering men's facial hair cutting, dry and finish, create basic outlines, advise and consult your, with your client, shampoo and condition and scalp treatment, develop your work area which is your health and safety, colour and lighten men's hair and then your male grooming. For each of these units you will have certain evidences and assessments to do. So for your cut men's hair you need to do two formative assessments and six summative assessments so you'll have six different cuts to do. For your cutting men's facial hair, you have two formative assessments and four summative assessments. So that will be different like beard trims, moustache trims, beard outlines, etc. For dry and finish, you need to do two formative assessments and three summative assessments. For create basic outlines, you will do two formative assessments and three summative assessments. So that will be like lines, patterns, etc. Advise and consult with your client, you need to do two formative assessments and six summative assessments, but the assessments can link with your other units. With your shampoo, condition and scalp treatment, you need to do two formative assessments and three summative assessments. Those again will link with your other units. 
Your health and safety unit, you need to do two formative assessments and three summative assessments. These assessments, again, will link with your other units. Then you have two formative colour and lighting evidences to do and four summative assessments. Okay. Your male grooming is a college certificate, so we will do things like how to manicure and look after the hands and nails, also how to remove unwanted facial hair such as eyebrow waxing and tweezering. Hi guys, um, I'm, my name is Sonia Ford and I am the course manager for the level 2 diploma in beauty therapy and the level 2 technical certificate in beauty therapy. Um, I'm just going to let you know a little bit about what you need to come on. As you can see in the salon here, these are my level 2 technical students. They've only been here for five weeks up to now and they can already complete a full facial. Um, in order for you to come on to the uh, level 2 diploma, you are going to need four threes and above. Okay, two of those threes have got to be an English and a science and for the technical you are going to need four fours and they have to be in English, maths and science. For both beauty therapy courses um, you will be doing, the treatments that you will be doing will be facials, manicures and pedicures, so you need to like feet a little bit. Um, and you'll also be doing eye treatments, waxing. Um, for the level two diploma, you'll do a create an image. And in the level two tech, you'll be doing um, lash lift and gel nails. Uh, for the technical certificate, you will have one end point exam, which is normally in March. And you have one end point um, assessment for your um, technical treatments. For the diploma you will do exams all the way through the qualification and you will be assessed throughout your course. That's it for now. Look forward to seeing you very very soon. Hello my name is Glenda and I run the level three beauty therapy course here at South Downs College. I've been a student here myself in the past and once gaining experience in industry I decided to come back to teach so I've been here for 15 years now. Once you have your level 2 beauty therapy course you're able to come on to the level 3 beauty therapy course and learn various massage units so aromatherapy, stone therapy and hands-on body massage. You will also learn your face and body electrical treatments as well as microdermabrasion. This will all gear you up ready to go and work in a number of places in industry such as salons, spas and cruise ships or even setting up business yourself. Behind me we have our level three students carrying out body massage at the moment in our regular client workshop to gain your knowledge and experience and build your confidence ready for industry working on real clients. As part of your course, you also get the opportunity to go on trips to various health spas in the area where you can experience other treatments on offer in industry such as hot bamboo massage. The girls on the course also get to have guest speakers in coming in from regular salons and spas and starting the cruise ships companies where a lot of the girls end up going on to work after. This is Rhiannon, one of our Level 3 Beauty Therapy students. Rhiannon, can you tell us what entry criteria you needed to do Level 3 Beauty? So I had to study Level 2 Beauty Therapy to be able to get the confidence to be able to do Level 3 treatments. Okay, thank you. So how do you um, practice the treatments on Level 3 Beauty? So we begin by practicing on the other students and when we gain confidence and knowledge, we then start on real playing clients. Okay, so that sounds really interesting. What um, are the topics that you're really enjoying at the moment? I'm really enjoying the facials and the massages. Great, so you're 
currently practicing in each other? Yeah, we're currently practicing in a lot of the studios. Brilliant. And um, can you tell us why did you pick Heaven and South Downs College um, to do beauty therapy? Because the teachers are really helpful and they help us during our treatments. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Fiona, for talking to us. Bye. Good afternoon. Welcome to the BTCT Level 2 Diploma in Hair and Media Makeup. My name is Sally Brooks and I'm the tutor for the course. Throughout the course, you will gain the skills in the following makeup techniques, um, so client care and communication, health and safety practice in the salon, basic makeup applications, that would include day, evening and special occasion, photographic makeup, so things like bridal, catwalk looks, face painting, creating animals and wildlife, and body art design, where we work on the whole of the back or the front if you want to, and lash and brow treatment, so brow shaping, lash and brow tinting, Mendy skin decoration, so that's working with henna, creating and applying a variety of designs to any part of the body, and nail art application, which, you know, comes in handy for a budding makeup artist. The hair units are consultation for hair services, shampoo and condition the hair and the scalp, flatting and twisting the hair, the art of dressing hair, and colour hair using temporary colour. And as a makeup artist, you need to be versatile and able to do more than just apply makeup. So the more things you can do, the more employable you become. How do you get on to the course? OK, so you will need a minimum of four GCSEs at grade five or above. And one of these has to be science. So you need to make sure that you get your science grade. An alternative um, way to get on the course is having a relevant level one qualification in either hairdressing or beauty therapy. Um, for the course, you will need a professional makeup and hair kit and you will have a uniform that consists of a black t-shirt, a black hoodie and you supply jeans or trousers and closed in shoes. The approximate cost for the above is £650. How will you actually achieve the qualification? So there will be practical assessments. So we assess your practical skills for every unit that you do. Um, there are five assessments in the dressing hair unit. So you've got to be really busy throughout the year. There's six exams. There will be assignments and you'll build a portfolio showing evidence of everything that you've learned. You will also have the opportunity to carry out work experience within the industry. Now, this could be in a theatre production. It might be working at the dockyard for the Victorian Christmas event, or it could even be working for the Metropolitan Police, creating bodies and wounds um, for their training exercises. And in addition to that, there will be in-class and online workshops with sort of local people who, who do additional training for us to help you along the way. So how can you enrol? If you feel that this could be the course for you, please contact the college to arrange an early interview where I will look forward to meeting you. Thank you, bye bye. Hi all, welcome to the video. Um, I just want to let you know about level three theatrical special effects hair and media makeup. My name is Dawn Richardson and I'm the tutor for this course. So let me tell you what we would be covering if you were to join us on our course. You will cover a range of units. They are style and dress hair because we all need a hairstyle to match our makeup, media makeup, fashion and photographic, applying airbrush makeup, style and fit a pastiche, client care and communication, Camouflage, so it's if you're wanting to work for the NHS, creating a cast, monitor and maintain health and safety, and applying a prosthetic. So in order to um, gain entry onto the course, you will need to either have four GCSEs, grade four, and one must be in science and maths or English, or previously achieved a level two in hair or beauty or theatrical and media makeup. 
you will also need to purchase two kits and a portfolio which will be up-to-date pictures of what you're achieving in your class under assessment, a black hoodie and a black t-shirt which will have makeup artists written on the back and you will also need to purchase either black jeans, black trousers and closed in black shoes. The total cost for the kit is £750. So how will you achieve your level three? Well you will take part in four exams, you will do assessments for each of the units to show that you're capable and competent to work on your own, you will also have work experience that we will set aside for you. You will have the opportunity to enter world skills co competitions. And you will also have in class and online workshops where employers will be engaged in your lessons. So, how to enroll. If you have a passion for makeup and you feel that you'd like to know more, book an early interview and I look forward to meeting you.